I am Anil Kumar and now we will discuss communication questions on vectors. We are looking into 2016 test paper on intersection of planes. Question number 8. Describe the arrangement of the following planes in R3 given the augmented matrix of equations and the reduced row equiline matrix of equations. Part A we have already done in a different video. I'll provide you a link for that and now at length we'll discuss part B. The matrix here is 2 minus 3, 5, 6 minus 9, 15, 2, 4, 3, 1, 3, minus 1 and it could be written as shown here. So you can actually pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my suggestions. So let's discuss this at length. Here is the question. So we are given this augmented matrix and we have also given a reduced form of it. We need to actually describe the arrangement. We don't really have to find the solution, right? Now, what do you conclude from here? The last line 0, 0, 0 equals to 0 is always true, right? Since it is always true, it leads to one parameter, right? So this leads to one parameter. One parameter means an object which can be described by one parameter, uh, which is that object, one parameter. That is a line, right? It is a line. So, so we know that in this particular case, the system is consistent, so we have a consistent system. That is to say that all the three planes are intersecting at a line, right? So all three planes. So we have three planes intersecting in a line. That is what it is. Now, if you have to sketch it, then you could sketch it kind of like this. Let me let me just sketch one simple make a simple diagram right so let us say this is one plane and let us say this that is the point line of intersection between the three planes so we can say uh, well let us say this is the third second plane right so so we can do like this okay now we can draw the third plane also with the same line of intersection so let me just draw one here like this. Okay, so drop perpendicular and here kind of like this, right? So you just extend this with a dotted line and bring it here so that not bad. So we have these three planes, they are intersecting in a line. So that is how you could actually describe the scenario. Now here is some additional information which I would like to share with you. Now very few people actually explain these parts which I am going to discuss with you now. Now why this type of a situation? It means that three normals are in the same plane. This is possible, right? Because there is a common line. So that means three normals are in the same plane. That means that. Now the question is, how can you prove it? You can prove it by finding scalar triple product. Right? If you find scalar triple product of these normals, that is to say n1 dot, n2 cross, n3, that should be equal to zero. That is one thing which you can verify, right? So that is kind of very important. Second, you can also find the solution of this particular equation. You know, this is one parameter. So you could solve the equation from the third line. You can say, let, so we can find equation of line. Let that be a part for you to do. So from the third equation, we can write, uh, let me write down. Uh, z equals to t, right? That would be simple. And then that is one parameter. So we are saying t is a parameter for us. 
right? So we are saying one parameter, correct? Now from here we get uh, y minus 2 over 7 z equals to minus 2 over 7 and that really means that y is equals to we can take it on this side and say minus 2 over 7 uh, plus 2 over 7 and z is t so we can write t instead right so we get y in terms of t and for x we can solve from here right so from this equation we can write x plus 29 over 14 and uh, let's write z first and then we know z is equals to t so we'll substitute that here and then we can say x is equals to 1 over 40 minus 29 over 14 t right well further you can solve you know now uh, you can write point and this you can do all that correct so that is one thing you can do find intersection of the line and now very important exercise is to find the triple product and show that this indeed is zero right so what we can do is we can actually calculate it right there imagine this to be your matrix right so so if you find scalar triple product here uh, you will notice that it is zero so what you need to do basically is that calculate the value two times so we have two times minus 9 times 3 is minus 27 minus uh, 4 times 15 which is 60 that is one thing and then minus of minus 3 times it becomes plus 3 and 6 times 3 is 18 minus 30 and then we have plus 5 times 6 times 424 minus of minus 18 makes it plus right so you can calculate this using calculator right so let us do this so we have two times within bracket minus 27 minus 60 bracket close plus three times within bracket 18 minus 30 plus five times 24 plus 18 bracket close equals to what you get is zero right that is what i meant right so so this is what we just proved correct this is what we just proved so that is a scalar triple product which is zero so all these things you need to understand well this is in addition to a uh, real requirement for the question but it really helps you to understand the concept of intersection of planes. I hope you appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.